Grand Rising. Welcome to the channel Excellence. Where we strive for excellence. We strive to be one better than what we were yesterday. Why? Why do I strive to be better than what I was yesterday? Because of the trials and tribulations that I went through. I went through trials first in the hearts of my family, friends, and my loved ones. That was the first trials I went through. And when I seen that they was putting me through some hell of a trials and judging me and putting me through a hell of a kangaroo court system on their own. See, your family, friends, and your loved ones is the first ones that put you through the, the worst kangaroo court system by judging you. Trying to judge you and see who the fuck you is. Misjudging you. Trying to make you a person that they want you to be. People have tried that all my life. But I'm the only one. The only one that's going to validate who this man is. Who this God is. See, his stands are God. See, this is a God. This is a, a God species. How do I know? Through my words, actions, and deeds. See, if you read the book of Genesis, it says the sons, with an S, of gods came to the earth and saw the daughters of men, them two different species, saw them attracted and took unto them wives. That's the reason why it was written for women to obey and be obedient to men because you never knew which one of them was God. So when you get a God man in your life, women must be obedient and obedient servant to the God. Now, if you a woman and you settle for a cockabine, then that's what you're going to get. A concubine. But when you settle for the Nephilim, the men of renown, the Anunnaki, the gods, the governors, creator, almighty, internal and incomprehensible, the ruthless root and the coughless cause of everything that is, was and evermore will be, you better recognize who the fuck you with. I stand upright, independent, and fearless because I know who I am. I am a God without a doubt of contradiction. Go to Psalms 86. Read it in the Bible. A lot of it has been taken out so that you will not become conscious of who you are. But when they say God is one of us. You better watch who the fuck you treating a certain way. And you better watch why that wrath is coming down on you. Because truly, without a doubt of contradiction, you are face to face with a God. When you see my face, look at my face. I want everybody in this world to see this face clearly. Look at his face. When you see my face, you see a God. You see a Nephilim. You see an Anunnaki. You see a spiritual being from the Biru. From Planet X. Study it. But you're looking at one. Upright, independent, and fearless. A God of all gods. Just here on this plane of things manifest to help you straighten out your DNA. In other words, to help you get that dick out your ass. And stand upright, independent, and take your place in the affairs of this fucking world. We 
created this world on greatness. On unconditional love. Unconditional development. Put minds and entities with unlimited capacity for improvement. And y'all say what? That fucking mind that you were given is a terrible thing to waste. But you are wasting your time and your mind on naught. Gossip. Bullshit. Thinking you're tough. That don't make you gangster. Gangsters. When you want to be gangster, show yourself worthy. Show royalty. Show loyalty. Show gratitude. What? I mean, what, what is human beings supposed to do? I mean, you're human. You human, show me the best version of the best human being. Right now, I'm going to judge your punk ass. They say only God can judge you, well, I can judge you. Where you at? Where your heart at? Where your mind at? Where your spirit at? Where's your gratitude? Where's that love thy neighbor? Where's this uh the strange where's the stranger at your at, at your gate? Where the fuck is the stranger at that's at your gate? It's a stranger at your gate somewhere. What is you doing with that stranger at your gate? There is a foe. They seek to do you harm. How do you treat that foe that seeks to do you harm? They are weak around you. Look at the weak. How are you assisting the weak? How are you assisting the poor? What are you doing to people that you want done to you. Let me say that shit again. What are you doing to people that you want done to you? Because whatever you do to a person, you have already done it to yourself. You reap what you sow. What is karma? Karma is God dishing out the punishment that you tried to push on somebody else. Let me say that again. What is karma? How do you how do you live in this life with your past life's karma? What kind of karma is you creating in this life? Ask yourself that. What kind of karma is you creating? What is you doing that's going to come back to you? What have you done? Because it's coming back to you. My dad told me when I was, I think I was about 13 years old. I never forget it. It was New Year's. My dad had a 30 30 Winchester. And he went in the backyard at 12 o'clock noon. I mean, at 12 midnight. And he gave every last one of us the gun. To fire one bullet. 
I wanted to shoot the gun more than one time. And I said, I was the only one that questioned him. Pops, why I can't shoot it twice? He said, you definitely, I just want to shoot it once. Because that bullet you put in the air, remember, it's chasing you. Don't let it catch you. As long as you can outrun that bullet, <coughs> you got it made. <coughs> now, there's two ways to outrun that bullet. Physically or spiritually. <coughs> Now, if I'd have looked at that in a physical way, I'd have took off running right then and there. I probably would have ran into a tree or a brick wall. Who knows? But I'd have took off running right then and there. If I was in the flesh. But I was in spirit. So I went with mine. Into that land of fleshless things to sort out my problems. See, man find himself where he can solve his problems best through life journey. Had a lot of trials and tribulations, but were they just? They say it was justice. In the course of men, right? They say it was justice in the course of men, right? They said it was fucking justice in the course of men. Hmm. I roll with that one. Now, y'all peep this one out. I was tried. I was arrested, tried, convicted by a jury, served my full sentence all of my time, and now I got a decision that the case was overturned. And they say you was innocent all the time. A published decision. Go check it out. 56 days. Well, it's, it should be published now. The state of Michigan versus Washington. A published decision. How did I get a published decision? Because I'm a man that's staying upright, independent, and fearless. And if I fought the court system and did my time and everything to show them that they was a damn lie and that I stood on the truth, I'd be damned if I'm going to come out here in society and let anybody try to break me down. That's a life sentence right there. Now, I'm going to let that resonate with motherfuckers for a while. See, that's a life sentence. Now write a book on how many times your life been took. And you fought like hell to get your life back. And you got it back. Only to come out here for one of you stupid motherfuckers to say that I'm going to lose it that way. Man, you motherfuckers better wake the fuck up quick. 
quick. Because like I say, I don't scream myself for the sake of reputation or fame. When you fuck with me, if you get to nine or one one, you too fucking late. If you got it, if you, in your mind is to call nine one one, you got the wrong motherfucking ideal. Me, I'm gonna come to you in love, truth, peace, and freedom. When them principles are violated, justice is going to take its course. As I had a power invested in my hands as a God. And I will have to do so in order to save a nation. I call on no one. I call on no one. Why should I call on anyone? I am the one. Get a clear view. Get a clear, get a clear motherfucking view. I want you to get a clear fucking picture. Make sure this motherfucker is clear. I don't want a blemish in this bitch nowhere. When you come fucking with me, have faith in God. Be the met God. Spoke with him personally. And know what you're supposed to do. Because if you miss. Any beat. Or any rhythm. That's what you're going to miss. When you look at this face. You see. God. Know that. Know that. Under fucking stand that. What is my proof? My movement and my repulse. I come from that place. Yeah, I come from that place. I reside there. I live there. I come from that place. I come from, that's where I come from. Understand that. I come from there. That place where that light came into existence on its own. Manifest itself in its image and after its likeness. Then what is my proof? Movement and repulse. Understand that. Understand that clearly. I come to all of y'all in this world, everybody in this world, as one entity. I come to everybody in this world as one. As one. I am. I am. And that that I am, I am. 
I am one with everything. Everything that I see through my eyes is nothing but vibrating energy. Nothing but vibrating energy. And when that substance is raised to its highest tone, that's when you see the God that stem along. I come to y'all in love. I leave you in peace. Have a blessed day.